Hello everyone and welcome to this session. Please, as you watch, don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. So today we will be solving a problem on amino acids and the amino acid precisely valine. So it goes valine is one of the 20 natural amino acids and has an acid as a carboxy group, the pKa1 of 2.5. 3, and an amine group with pKa2 that is 9.62. If we consider valine solution with a pH of 10.62, which is the proportion in bracket in percent of the zeta ion form of the solution, so we want to get the percentage of this solution that exists in the zeta ion form. And by zeta ion, we mean a molecule that whose a molecule whose net charge is zero it means it contains equal number of positive and negative charges so that is what we, we are to calculate so let's go right away to the solving uh, of the equation all right <coughs> um okay at a given ph that 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 is the ph of the solution which was given as 10.62 Valine is deprotonated both on the carboxy group and on the amine group. Since pH is greater than pKa and pH, sorry, pH is greater than pKa1 and the pH is also greater than the pKa2. By the side this way, uh, with this green slide, you're going to see that I place something the pH less than pKa there is no dissociation for pH equals to pKa there is 50% dissociation and for pH greater than pKa the group dissociates and you see that both the carboxyl and the amine group the pH is greater than the pKa so they follow this third uh, this third point pH greater than pKa so the groups will dissociate now when i talk of dissociating i mean um, the carboxy group will exist as this i mean the carboxy group will be exist as coo minus not cooh it has lost a hydrogen that's the meaning of deprotonated why when the amine group is when when the amine group is protonated it exists as NH2 that means it has lost a hydrogen instead of NH3 plus it is NH2 that is the meaning of dissociate so when the groups dissociate they will be of this form they will be of this form that is what I mean by dissociate so let's go back to our problem now if this step is understood then we write on now uh, we're at this point and what oh, i'm trying to explain here is just that the ph is greater than the pka of the carboxy group by around 8.3 units so this 8.3 is too high in that all the carboxy group will have dissociated it means it will have changed from cooh right it will have changed from it will have changed from C O O H to C O O minus. So all of it will have deprotonated, right? That's what I mean by we expect to have complete dissociation. Now, what of the amine group? When we check the amine group, we see that the for the amine group the difference between the pH and the pKa is one unit right I and mean, it, it will imply that some but not all of the amine group has dissociated so the percentage of the zeta ion that will be formed 
will be dependent on the amine group. Since all of the carboxy group has dissociated, there is no carboxy group again left to dissociate. So the zeta ion form is dependent on the amine group. So we're going to be using by the amine group to do these calculations. So this is the core step of this problem. So we continue. Now, if 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 this one is understood, then uh, we are going to be using the Henderson Hasenberg equation to solve to continue solving the problem. So Henderson Hasenberg came up with an equation as this: pH equals to pKa plus log of the base over the acid. So the pKa we are using, I said is for the amine group because all the carboxy group has dissociated so the pKa value will be 9.62 that's for the amine the pH is the pH of the solution 10.62 then uh, the bracket HA is the concentration of the zeta ion remember you can see under here a zeta ion is a molecule with a zero charge in bracket equal positive and negative charges so that's the zeta ion. If you look at the HA, it has no charge. So it is the zeta ion. Now, the A- minus is the basic form of the amino acid. The basic form. It means the form which has been deprotonated, in which the amino acid is deprotonated. That it, it exists in the form NH2. Right? So now we, we, we can continue with the question is just remaining to fill in the variables that uh, I've given down here so when we fill those variables when we fill those variables we'll get something like this we'll get something like this so from here you can see the calculations and uh, at the end you have something like one no 10.00 equals uh a minus concentration a minus on concentration a h that's the the, the basic form of the zeta ion form now since the number of mole of the base created is equal to the number of mole um the number of mole of the acid sorry this is not supposed to be here the number of mole of the acid that's the zeta ion right the zeta ion because it has no charge so the number of mole of the base created is equal to the number of mole of the zeta ion that are deprotonated hence the assumption should give us one or the assumption should give us a percent that is that that makes us to come out with this equation Concentration of A minus plus concentration of AH equals 1. Now, after coming out with this equation, we can let the concentration of A minus to be equals to X, which implies that what? Concentration of AH is equal to 1 minus X. I said AH is the zeta ion. So the concentration of the zeta ion is 1 minus X, where X is the concentration of the basic form right the concentration of the base the base the basic form of the amino acid all right so uh, we move to the last step to solve this problem all right <coughs> not the last sorry so we have seen all these and we have agreed that uh concentration of the zeta ion is one minus x so now what we are left to do is to substitute in this original equation where we ended so when we substitute that we will get this we we'll get 10 is equals to x on one minus x solving for x we'll have x as 0 0.9090 now this 0 0.9090 is the amount of valine in the basic form remember when we were letting our variables we said a minus is the basic form and we we let it to be x
So the 0 .9, 0 0.9090 is the, con the amount of volume in the basic form. Why the amount of volume still in the zeta ion form will now be 1 minus the amount in the basic form. That, that is 1 minus x, right? Because the zeta ion was HA. And we said that HA or the concentration of HA is equal to 1 minus x. So we're going to take 1 minus that value of x, which was 0 0.9090, and it gives us 0 0.091. Now, in percent form, that is just simply multiplying by 100, we'll get our basic form to constitute of 90.9%, and we'll get our zeta ion form to constitute of 9.1%. So uh, that is how we approach this problem, and that is how we come to get our answer. Um, I will explain in another session. Of, I will have another session probably on amino acids, and I'm going to explain why this answer is supposed to be so. Probably in another session, I'm going to explain. But the answer is 9.1 answer is 9.1 so zeta ion form is 9.1 while the basic form is 90.9 .9. and the question was asking for the zeta ion form so our answer is 9.1 thank you for watching